Now, I'm James P. Conley, and I know a lot of you don't recognize me, and I may not be a household name to you, but that is all part of the master plan. <laughs> now, you know, a lot of guys, they get famous, they become a household name, what happens? That's right, the career is over. A guy like me is a lot of shows nobody ever watches. I can do that crap for the rest of my life. <laughs> hey man, life is what you make. It's not about what happens to you in life. It's how you spin it and present it back to yourself. <laughs> if you do it correctly, you can convince yourself of anything. <laughs> well, I was at a wedding a few weeks ago. My buddy said, man, you got so drunk at that wedding, you passed out on the floor. I said, or I got hammered at that wedding, but I only fell once. If you spin, you can win. That's what I'm preaching here tonight. You go to the bank, and the teller said, I'm sorry, there's insufficient funds. You say, well, if somebody's not doing their job, because I know you've got money back there. <laughs> go ahead and try it at work. Your boss said you were 10 minutes late. You say, well, technically that's not true, because I wasn't trying to be on time. <laughs> you go ahead and try that Monday, see how that works out for you. Someone comes after me and says, man, I paid 15 bucks to see you and I didn't laugh once. I say, well, today's your lucky day, because usually I charge 25. <laughs> and it works great for the cops. A policeman pulls you over and says, do you have any idea why I pulled you over? You say, yes, I do. But you have to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Classic question, do I look fat in this dress? The new answer, of course not. But that is one big fat dress you got there. <laughs> it's all the spin, baby, it's all the spin. <laughs> Man, if you can spin, you can make anything sound better. Like the homeless problem, it sounds so negative, doesn't it? But who could possibly feel sorry for the portable people? man, you can spin, anything becomes negotiable. You get stopped in the street. Someone says, your money or your life? You say, how about an IOU and an airborne virus? <laughs> Look, life is an attitude, and I'm here to help, Sacramento. I'm going to give you the secrets to my success. Three simple words. Three words that will change your life. Three words that will undo all the damage done to you by your parents. Lower your standards. for the curb and everything above it is gravy. <laughs> the key to life is to set goals nobody can take away from you. My goal today, go to the bathroom outside my pants. <laughs> I can go home and look in the mirror and I can say, you are a winner. It's a hell of a brain I got spinning tonight, isn't it? I brought the high speed brain tonight. Hard to believe I think of this crap all by myself. But I'm a thinking man. I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I think I may have figured out a way to end racism and prejudice forever in this country. I think the first thing we need to do, I think we need to get rid of all the different people. sensitive are you? you can't say anything ethnic in public anymore. I mean, pretty soon I can't get up here and I can't say Eskimo pie. Well, God forbid we piss off the pie, people. But I love everybody, every gender, every race, every age. As a matter of fact, where's my over 65 party people in the house tonight and make some noise? <laughs> I'm sure there's more of you out there. You probably didn't hear what I said, that's all. Maybe you're taking a nap and a medication made you unstable. I love older people. Senior citizens are crucial to our survival. Older people form a protective layer around society. Hey man, without them, scam artists might come after my money and uh... Shut up, you love your money too. <laughs> Look, there's a role for everybody in society. Like, people get bent out of shape about gay marriages. I'm like, come on, this is America 2005. I say live and let live to each his own. Besides, if a gay man wants to marry a 
gay woman, what the hell do I care? <laughs> it might work out for everybody, you never know. What if they get together, have a kid, cancel each other out, produce a straight guy that can decorate? <laughs> Some of you looking at me like, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. Some of you think I'm full of crap, don't you? I see the skeptical looks, man. I know the look. Believe me, I'm not full of crap. I'm the real deal. You laugh. I know the type. Guy what's in a room like this, acts all cocky, walks around the stage, acts like he owns the joint, maybe overdresses for the occasion, then tries to impress you with his fake, deep voice. That's not my style. I don't need to do that because I have the resume to back up the cocky part. Dig this, my friend. In high school, ranked number one in my class. Unanimously voted student body president, class speaker, valedictorian. Not bad for homeschooling. <laughs> I was a homecoming king. <laughs> and queen, too, yeah. You laugh on my prom night. I was such a slut. <laughs> The things I did to me, uh... I mean, I told myself I'm not that kind of guy, but I knew I was. I can't wait for my reunion next week. <laughs> well, I know a hell of a lot more now than I did then, believe me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love women. That's what I'm all about. For the record, I'm not into the men. Unless it's me, and then, uh... <laughs> if that makes me gay, put me in the parade and call me swishy. I love looking around the room, there are beautiful ladies all over the place tonight. I love what I see. I love them all too. I love tall women. I love short women. I love the tall women with the short legs. I love them all. Yeah, they're funny looking, but they've been good to me. Well, so many guys have categories when it comes to women, right? I mean, do you have a type of lady you like, man? Do you know what type of woman you like? You do? What type do you like? One sitting next to you, smart damn man right there. You laugh, and how many guys do, yeah, I like I'm tall and blonde and leggy and crap, that's not what I brought tonight. <laughs> well played, man, well played. <laughs> but you know the types, right? Ass men, breast men, leg men, and you have me, I'm a, I'm a breathing man, that's how much I love women. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love the asses and I love the breasts and I love the legs, because without the legs, you got asses and breasts all over the ground. And then, <laughs> Like five second rule in chaos everywhere. So. <laughs> you know the five second rule, don't you? You see, legally, after six seconds, that's badass on the ground. You can't touch that. Oh, you want to, but you can't. Look it up, it's the law. I know what I'm 